Today I met a monster. One day I met a monster. He jumped out and said, Boom! Hello! I said, Hello! I'm sorry for you. He smiled a cheeky grin and he wiped away some monster drool. Then before I knew it, the monster followed me to school. He got me into trouble when I took my spelling test. I got one answer right, but he ruined all the rest. He hid under the table and ate noisily at lunch. The monster was so messy, chewing loudly. By the afternoon, I had really had enough. He made my teacher angry by going through her stuff. When it was time for ballet, I was sure that he would quit. But whoever knew the monsters could do a perfect split. I cried to Lily when I was at her house to play. The monsters I met this morning won't seem to go away. The monster jumped onto the table when it was time for tea. I couldn't help but yell out at him, Please stop following me. It was all getting too much. The monster was everywhere. I was close to screaming and then tearing out my hair. Then that night as I sat in bed, I knew I needed to have a plan. I have to get rid of the monster, I thought, any way I can. I introduced him to my brother. They'd be best friends for sure. But when the monster broke his toys, he wouldn't play with him anymore. I thought I'd try the dog instead, as they both slobbered and smelled. But the monster gobbled up his dinner, so Smudge grew tired of him as well. After those disasters, he did more than follow me around. The monster stamped his feet and dragged his knuckles on the ground. He threw smelly stuff everywhere, he dug holes in the road. One day he got so angry, I thought he might explode. So I sat down with the monster, and as I looked into his eyes, he said his first words to me, and he took me by surprise. I don't want to scare anyone, he said, like the other monsters do. The only person I made friends with in a while, Sally, is you. This whole time, he hadn't scared me. I hadn't even heard him roar. Then I saw the other monsters. I'd never felt so lucky before. I'm sorry, monster, I said. I didn't understand. Then I led towards him and took him by the hand. Monster jumped up in the air and he grinned. This his toothy smile. Then he grabbed me in the biggest hat in I had in quite a while. Now we are the best of friends, Monster. Never feel sad. In fact, Monster is the most fun friend I think I've ever had. The end.